Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and in today's lecture we will discuss about Windows user account passwords. Password protecting your and all other user accounts and using unique user accounts for each person assessing the computer are the basic security requirements. Now let us discuss how to check if your Windows account is password protected. Step 1. Press Windows keys and L which is the shortcut to lock your screen. If you have a password on your user account, you will need to enter it here. If you do not have a password, you will be able to access your desktop again without entering a password. Please note that the Windows key is a key located on the most Windows computer between Control and Alt keys. Now let us see how to password protect a Windows user account. Step 1. Click Windows key to open the Windows Start menu and click on this tab to open the setting panel. Step 2. Click Accounts and select Sign in options. Step 3. Click Add to add a new password. Step 4. Enter your new password under New Password and Re-enter password. Be mindful that you do not reveal too much about your password in the password hint field. Step 5. Click next to apply your new password. Revisit this process if you wish to change your password. Now let us see how to add new windows, user accounts or a guest account. Step 1. Select accounts through your setting menu. Step 2. Select the family and other users tab. On the left side of the account setting window. Step 3. Click the plus sign next to the add someone else to this PC under other users. Step 4. Through the following window, click on the I don't have this person sign in information link. Step 5. Click the add a user without a Microsoft account link through the following window. Step 6. Type the username for the new account under the who is going to use this PC section. Step 7. Type the password for the new account under the make it secure section. Step 8. Retype the password for the new account under the section under it. Step 9. Type something in the last section which will help you remember the password if you ever forget or lose it. Step 10. Click next to proceed. If you return to the family and other user section of your account settings, you will see the new user account that you have just created. Screen lock. To prevent third parties from physically accessing your computer, you should be able to lock access to your machine when you are not working on it. And the screen should automatically lock itself after a period of inactivity. The lecture explains how you can do so. Let's start by demonstrating how to set timeout screen lock when your computer is inactive. If you step away from your computer and forget to lock your screen, your computer should automatically lock itself after several minutes of inactivity. Step 1. Click on the start button and search for the change screen saver. Step 2. Select on resume display login screen to activate the screen lock timeout. Step 3. Set the number of minutes of inactivity your computer should wait before locking the screen. We suggest a fairly short time period such as 3 minutes. Step 4. Click OK to apply the screen saver settings. Windows 10 automatically downloads and installs Windows updates for you keeping you protected against the latest software exploitations. This video is for Windows Vista 7, 8 and 8.1 users. Step 1. Click the Start button and search for Windows Updates. Step 2. Your operating system may not be automatically updating itself. If automatic updates are disabled, you will see a blue screen Click this tab to activate automatic updates. Step 3. Click Change Settings from the Windows Update Site Panel. 
Step 4. Change the time under installed new updates. Every day at 3 am to daytime hour such as 5 pm. Step 5. Check the check boxes next to the give me recommended updates the same day I receive important updates. Allow all users to install updates on this computer. These settings will improve the frequency and ease of updates and also update Microsoft Office Suite products which are also frequent target for software exploitations. Step 6. Click OK to save your update settings. Windows Firewall Ensuring that your system's firewall is turned on at all times is essential as it is designed to protect your operating system from unauthorized access to your computer through the internet based on a set of predetermined security rules. To turn on your Windows Firewall or to check that it is on, follow the following steps. Step 1. Type Firewall in your system search panel to find the Windows Firewall control panel. Step 2. Click on the Turn Windows Firewall on or off link. Step 3. Select the Turn on Windows Firewall option under Private Network Settings if it's not already selected. Step 4. Select the Turn on Windows Firewall option under Public Network Setting if it's not already selected. Removing Blotware Many PC manufacturers include additional software with Windows when you purchase a new computer. These manufacturers are paid by the software vendors to include this software and the bundled software may not benefit and even harm the interest of the consumer. One high profile case was Superfish Adware pre-installed on Lenovo computers which actively broke internet security processes in order to serve ad to users. Such softwares are known as blotware, software which blots your computer. Best practice is to install a fresh copy of Windows on a new computer using a disk provided by Microsoft. However, this may often be impractical or expensive. The next best option is to uninstall the extra software that comes with your computer. To do this, follow the following steps. Step 1. Click on the Start button and search for Add or Remove Programs. Step 2. Review your installed programs. If you have a new computer, this will be simpler than if you have been using it for long with many additional software installed. Look for programs you do not recognize and especially for programs not made by Microsoft. If you do not recognize a program, try to research it online to understand its functions and reputation. Also beware of software without a publisher name, meaning the software is not signed by a recognized software company. Step 3. If you identify programs you would like to remove, click on it, then click Uninstall and follow the program specific uninstall instructions. Now we'll see how to avoid malwares on Windows. The Microsoft Windows operating system includes Smart Screen which is designed to protect users from malware and phishing attacks by scanning URLs assessed by the user against a blacklist of websites containing known threats. To configure a smart screen, follow the following steps. Step 1. Type control panel in your system search panel on the bottom of the screen. Click on it to open control panel. Step 2. Click system and security and then security and maintenance to open window below. In this window, click the change windows smart screen settings link on the left side of the window. Step 3. Select the get administrator approval before running an unrecognized app from the internet recommended option to use smart screen protection against the malicious URLs or select one before running an unrecognized app if your system does not offer previous option. Windows Defender is a software designed to detect and remove malware and it is built in Windows operating system.
to scan your computer with malware with Windows Defender, follow the following steps. Step 1. Through your control panel, select System and Security. Step 2. Open the Security and Maintenance window. Step 3. Click Scan Now under the Security section to begin scanning your computer with the Windows Defender for malware. This will display whether your PC is being protected. Step 4. For a full scan, select Full and click Scan Now. Step 5. Click Update to ensure that your virus and spyware definitions are automatically updated to help protect your personal computer. Now let us see how to make the file extension visible to avoid being tricked by malware. File extensions are a part of names of files which tell the operating system which type of file it is and what process or application to use to open it. For instance, for a file song.mp3, the mp3 portion of the name tells the computer that it is a mp3 music file and can be opened by your default music player. By default, Windows will hide this extension and some malware exploits this setting by attempting to make its file appear to be a different type than it actually is. To mitigate this threat, you can change Windows settings to view the file extensions and optionally to view hidden files and operating system files where viruses also sometimes hide. Now let us see how to view file extensions. Step 1. Open the file explorer. Step 2. Click the view menu tab and then click options. Step 3. Click the view tab. Step 4. Uncheck the box next to hide extensions for known file type. Step 5. Click OK. Notice now that file extensions will be visible on all files. Beware of files which are presented to you as being media or office documents but which have extensions for an unrelated file types such as .exe, .msi or .bat. Now let us see how to view hidden and operating system files. Step 1. Open the file explorer. Step 2. Click the view menu tab and then click options. Step 3. Click the view tab. Step 4. Select the option show hidden files, folders and drives and uncheck the box next to hide protected operating system files recommended. You will see a warning window. Step 5. Click yes. Windows operating system files will now be visible and should not be tampered with. However, if you see unusual hidden files in your personal documents and removable drives, you may be viewing malware. Step 6. Click OK. Now let us discuss how to disable autoplay to protect against malware. By default, Windows enable autoplay, a feature where plugged in removable media like USB drives or devices are examined and based on their contents such as pictures, music or video files, an appropriate application to play or display the content is launched. Step 1. Click the start button and search for autoplay. Step 2. Turn off use autoplay for all media and devices. Now let us discuss how to protect Windows using full disk encryption with BitLocker. Having a password to log in to your Windows computer account is good first step but not enough to protect the files stored on this account. An attacker with Physical access to the computer can read user files unless they are encrypted. BitLocker is a built-in full disk encryption software offered by Microsoft in Windows 7 Enterprises, Windows 8 Professional and most versions of Windows 
and excluding home version. BitLocker can encrypt entire system disk of a computer, additional hard disk or partitions and removable storage media. It is important to note that the following steps will help you to encrypt your files. Without the correct password, there will be no way to recover those files. Make a secure backup of your files before encrypting the files. Follow the following steps mindfully. Maintain a copy of your recovery key in a safe location. Follow the following steps mindfully. Maintain a copy of your recovery key in a safe location. Step 1. Open this PC in the File Explorer. Right click your local disk and click Turn BitLocker on. If you cannot find Turn BitLocker on in the menu above, maybe you are using a version of Windows which does not offer BitLocker. Consider upgrading your copy of Windows. In this example, we assume that your Windows operating system is installed on drive C. Step 2. You can choose how will you unlock your disk when starting a computer. You can use a password or you can unlock the disk with USB that you will prepare. In this guide, we will use a password. Click enter a password. If you have a TPM chip in your computer, you may have more options available to choose from in this step. Each offers different protection opportunities. For example, when you use a USB flash drive option, you can limit access to your information to people who have two-factor of authentication. They have this specific USB or its copy and know the password to log in to your account. Step 3. Enter a strong password for BitLocker encryption. If you use multiple languages in your computer and encounter password errors, in following steps, try using English language input method. Step 4. In this step, you can backup an encryption recovery key which can be used to open your files or decrypt them without knowing your password. It is important to store a copy of your recovery key in a secure place. You may wish to use more than one of the method available to you. Note that saving your recovery key to your Microsoft account may compromise the security of the key. However, it offers advantages in case of losing backup key files. In this example, we will assume that you can save the file to a separate USB drive and hide protect this device. Insert a USB flash drive in your computer and click save to a USB flash drive. Step 5. Select encrypt your entire drive and click next. Step 6. Select new encryption mode. In case you encrypting external drive, select the other option. Step 7. Before encryption starts, you need to try that BitLocker settings will work on your computer. Leave run BitLocker system checked and click continue. Step 8. Restart your computer. Step 9. After your computer restarts, Enter the password to unlock your disk and press enter. Step 10. If you enter correct password, your computer will start as before. Log in to your account. Double click small bit locker icon in the system tray to check the status of your drive encryption. Step 11. Allow time for the encryption process to complete. Congratulations, you have encrypted your whole system drive. In case of error, this device can't use a trusted platform module. If you encountered an error message saying this device can't use a trusted platform module as shown in the figure, it means that your computer does not have a trusted platform module chip that is used for encryption. However, with a same configuration adjustment described below, BitLocker can still be used on computers without a TPM chip. Step 1. Press Start. Type gpedit.msc and press Enter. In the new window open, double click, 
local group policy editor, computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, BitLocker drive encryption, operating system drives. Step 2. Then in the right hand panel of this window, double click require additional authentication and start up to open new window. Note that there is also a, an option called require additional authentication and start up. Ensure that you editing right option. Step 3. Select enabled and then click OK. Step 4. Close the local group policy editor window and follow the steps that we have already discussed and how to encrypt the hard drive containing your operating system. Alternatives to BitLocker Since BitLocker is a closed source program, its security cannot be independently verified. Additionally, in some versions of Windows 10, Microsoft forces users to backup encryption recovery keys to the Microsoft Online account, which may compromise security of its key. Open source full disk encryption alternatives exist for Windows such as VeraCrypt and Descriptor. Both offers full system disk encryption. There are programs which can encrypt specific files or folders on your computer such that shown on your screen. I hope these tips are useful for you. Thank you very much.